Hi everyone. Welcome back to Frappe School. My name is Lynette Sheren and this is the 11th chapter in our advanced accounting course. By the end of this chapter, we will be able to understand how we can manage subscriptions in ERP Next. Over the years, Unico Plastics has acquired a lot of office space that has been left unutilized. Hence, they have decided to give that space for rent. Gapco Inc has requested to rent this space for running their business. Since this operation will be based on a monthly renewal cycle, it required regular and timely billing. ERP Next has a subscription management feature that will help us to streamline this process. First, let's configure the subscription settings in order. We shall navigate to subscription settings in the accounting section. Here, we see the number of grace period is set to 1. It is the number of days after the invoice date has passed before cancelling the subscription or marking the subscription as unpaid. The cancel invoice after grace period checkbox means that the subscription will be cancelled in ERP next if the customer does not pay. Now that we have Gapco Inc. for renting the office, we may create various other subscription plans as well for different services that we offer. A subscription plan stores information about the item being subscribed to along with its other details. To access the subscription plan list, go to the accounting module, navigate to the subscription plan list and click on add new. Select the item that will be subscribed. Choose a price determination whether fixed or based on a price list. Let's select fixed as we have agreed on fixed monthly billing for the rent. Select a billing interval and an interval count. We can select monthly as an option here. If we select year as our interval and count as 2, the billing will be done every 2 years. Click on save once all the details are added. We also have the option to set up additional payment details and link a payment gateway. Let's skip this for now. We can track our agreement as a subscription in ERP Next. Let's navigate to the subscription list and click on Add Subscription. Select a party type as customer or supplier and select the particular party. Set the start date from when the subscription will be activated. We can also enter the subscription end date if you know it beforehand. We have the option to add a trial period start date and a trial period end date if we are offering a trial period for the subscription. In such a case, invoices will not be generated during the trial period and the subscription status will now show trialing once saved. Let's skip this as we are not offering a trial stay. If follow calendar months is enabled, then proper calendar months will be followed, meaning that an invoice will be generated at the beginning of a month. This will be applied even if the subscription start date is in the middle of the month. We can add the days due until which will denote the number of days that the subscriber has to pay invoices generated by this subscription. On enabling the cancel at end of period, the subscription will be cancelled at the end of its period. For example, our contract ends on 31st December. Post this date, this particular subscription will be set as cancelled. Days until due is the number of days within which the customer has to pay a generated sales invoice. Select the subscription plan we created earlier. We can apply additional discounts on the grand total or the net total. 
a discount percentage can be set as well. Lastly, we can even tag the accounting dimensions as applicable. Once all details are added, click on Save. On saving, if the customer decides to cancel a subscription, it can be cancelled in the system using the Cancel Subscription button. This brings us to the end of the 11th chapter of our Advanced Accounting course. I hope this helped you understand how we can manage subscriptions in ERP Next. You can read more about ERP Next on docs.erpnext.com. In the next chapter, we will discuss payment requests. Thank you.